What is up guys? It is Joe here from Joe Talks Wrestling and today I am bringing you my in-depth review of my 2008 Figures Inc. WWE Scratch Logo United States Championship replica belt that I got for Christmas. This is not, I repeat, not a brand new belt. It is in used conditions. It's pretty beat up. So you will be seeing a lot of scratches, a lot of plate tarnishing, a lot of plate fading. Uh, but this video is mainly for me to just get the camera close and show you guys the specific details that would be on the championship that are still on the championship. Uh, just try and ignore all the scratches. So without further ado, let's move over to the bed and let's get an in-depth look at my United States championship. Let's go. Okay guys, so here we have my United States Championship replica belt. And what we're actually gonna do is we're not gonna start on the front. I'm gonna flip this over so you can see the back of it straight away, uh, just so I can show you the actual patch. Also, so I can show you that it has screws. For those of you, I don't think anyone has actually asked, not even many of people have actually seen the unboxing video of this belt as of the time of this recording, but it does have screws, which shows that it is an official metal replica. Uh, back then, the old commemorative belts used to have little rivets instead. Uh, my old two millimeter big gold, as well as my ECW has um, rivets instead of screws. So this is just to show you guys that it is a replica. Also on the back here, you can see officially licensed WWE product, Figures Toy Company, uh, 2008 World Wrestling Entertainment with the holographic sticker, uh, authenticity patch sticker thing. I don't really know what they're called, but this is when Figures Toy Company or Figures Inc. actually did the replica belts for WWE. They don't anymore. WWE make them in-house. Uh, so all of the WWE replicas are actually WWE made. Now, uh, I've got my WWE Championship here. I'm just going to grab it quickly and show you the back of that. As you can see, this says official authentic replica championship from WWE shop. Uh, whereas this obviously has the figures toy company patch. So we'll just get rid of my, uh, my WWE championship quickly. That's just to show you that this is a very old championship. Once again, 2008 it is very old uh but yeah that's what it looks like from the back you can see the strap is very very creased very beaten up because it is an old belt there is the un one set of snaps you've got the back set of the uh, male snaps right here the back set of the female right here let's flip it over let's get right into actually looking at it because that is what everyone is here for you can see we have my matt hardy nameplate now what i'm actually going to do real quick before we get into this is i'm actually going to remove this because i don't want the matt hardy nameplate on there there's nothing against matt Hardy, uh, I would just prefer to have this with a blank nameplate because I don't really have a favourite United States champion who held this belt. So I don't want anyone's name on there. So real quick, I'm just going to click my fingers and get rid of that. And just like that, the Matt Hardy nameplate is gone. I've got it right here in my hand. Let's quickly have a look at this. Now, I don't know who made this nameplate. It's not accurate to the one Matt actually had. It's got a very different font to that one, but I actually prefer this one. It's very scratched and beaten up, as you can see, guys. That is a really good look. Uh, the camera won't pick up most of the scratches, but basically... All of the plates have these kind of scratches and tarnish on them. Uh, that is every single plate. On the back of this nameplate, it's very dirty. It's very old. It's very beaten up. Let's just put this to the side for now. And let's look at my United States Championship. Now, as you can see, the nameplate is gone. It doesn't have a blank nameplate underneath. It is literally just this, like, slot um, tarnishing there where the actual, like... Uh, what well, I can only imagine that scratching from the nameplate has worked at the way at the uh, at the plating. Up here, let's start from the top. We've got the WWE Scratch logo. Obviously, this is an old belt before the WWE Network logo came in. World Wrestling Entertainment right here. The pla uh, the paint doesn't actually uh, look that bad. It's held up very nicely uh, considering this is such an old belt. We've got a lot of scratching, though, as you can see. Uh, I'm going to say it now, and I'm going to say it once. Just try and ignore the scratching. I'm just going to try and look past that for this video, uh, just to show you the specific details of the belt. Moving down, obviously, it says United States Champion. Uh, then we've got the nameplate and, obviously, the American flag in the background. It is not very thick. It is a two-millimeter replica, which means look at how thick the plates are, especially uh, in comparison to this strap right here. It is very thin. However, it does have an ever-so-slight curve in it. 
the real one was pretty flat, but you know, there, there is a bit of a curve in it, which I'm happy with, because belts always look a lot better with curves. Let's move over to the side plates. Now, these two side plates you can see are actually very different to the later version of the Scratch logo and network version of the United States Championship, because they are, for the most part, completely gold, especially this uh, Statue of Liberty um, play obviously on the newer ones I'll find photos for reference but there is blue paint behind all of these in the background that there is blue paint there and on this side plate this like sort of shield shape there is all blue paint there as well these side plates you know the, the detail isn't that deep the etching isn't that deep because it is a two millimeter replica this is what was standard back then we're used to having it a lot better these days but back then this was standard and uh, yeah you know you, you can't get very deep etching on a two millimeter replica uh this is the two millimeter version there was an ultra deluxe version that released of this that was four millimeters instead of two uh but even then the uh the actual etching on that wasn't very deep either because the uh the tools weren't readily available um in for like replicas still you know it's not like they could have deep etching uh cnc machines and all that stuff for actual replica belts which are you know mass produced in a in a factory in a warehouse and then shipped out to be sold uh over here the longer side of the strap the male snap box uh it is one two three four five six seven eight it is a uh, two by eight snap set over here on there so we got 16 snaps over here moving over here with the female snap box one two three four five two by five set snaps right there we have a property of world wrestling entertainment plate now this property plate is just to sort of be there to fill the gap that it would have left obviously it's not the same on this side it's got eight snaps here meaning it's very long you can't have it the same here so instead of duplicating the snap box to about here they just put a property plate instead and then have the female snaps so there we go that is the united states championship that is a good look at it what we're going to do now is we're going to move back up and i'm going to show you the flexibility test the over the shoulder test the round the waist test we're going to snap the snaps up and we're going to do all that good stuff so without further ado let's get right into it okay so i've got my camera set up with you guys facing me against the fan art wall uh, i haven't really showed this much uh, this year but there you go there's the fan art well, all of this stuff is uh, pieces submitted or sent to me uh, by you guys which is awesome but anyway here is the United States Championship on me if I stand back a bit you can see it's not a very big championship it's quite small uh, it was always a small belt if I find a picture of the big show when he held this version of the United States Championship it looks like a kid sized Mattel belt it's crazy but here we are I'm going to hold it from one end of the snap uh, one end of the snap box to the other end of the snap box strap end to end that's what it looks like the flexibility on it because of its age is very very good look at this i hold it like this you can see the flexibility this is another good view of the curve as well you know it's not a big curve by any means but there's definitely a slight curve there if i put it over the shoulder this is what it looks like it sits right down i don't have to pull it whereas most replicas just do this uh it sits on its own it's you know this is what happens to these simulated leather straps over time they uh they get a bit beaten up they bubble up as you can see here um but the flexibility on them does improve that was the long side if i do the short side you can see it's exactly the same thing over the shoulder on this side once again uh and yeah that's that's the united states championship the flexibility on it is great if i hold it up like this drop to that side plate drop to that side plate drop to that side plate you can see you know it's it's very flexible so i'm going to move you down one shelf and we will do the around the waist and snap test let's do it so I've moved you down a shelf. You can no longer see my face. You can see like my waist area. I'm going to put this belt on. I'm going to put it round uh, like this, obviously. Now we'll do the snap test. Just to make sure the snaps all align, uh, we'll start here. That top one does. Uh, does the bottom one. It always is a bit tricky to get the bottom one on. I uh, never really do it. I normally just do the top ones. But there we go. That's snapped up. Next one. And the one after that. And the one after that. Is it going to go? Yes, it does. There you go. All the snaps, they all line up nicely, which is good to see. If I flip it round, here is the United States Championship around my waist. I'll give you guys a quick 360. Arms up. Here you go. 360 view of the United States Championship around the waist. And there we go. I think that's pretty much all you guys need to see. We uh, also, in, I mentioned it, I forgot to mention it. 
Did mention it in the unboxing video. This strap has actually been pierced through. The uh, the corner right here is quite sharp, so it has been pierced. The plate has pierced through the strap, uh, which is just something that I thought was funny that I wanted to share with you guys. It also does have a broken bolt from the plate, but that is fixable. And other than that, I don't really think I'm missing much. So let's sit back at the desk and let's end this video. And there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was my in-depth review of the WWE 2008 Figures Toy Company Scratch Logo United States Championship. I'm sorry if this video seems a bit different to my normal in-depth reviews. It was a tricky one to make. You know, having a used belt that is beaten up, such as this one, I don't really want to go, like, super in-depth with it because... I can't give you a good review of if you was to buy one. So say for example, I just bought my spinner belt of WWE shop and I could do a review brand new. It would be a review like a buying guide review where you guys would see what mine's like and that's what yours would look like. But you can't buy these anymore unless they're used and on eBay. So if you wanted one, you could find one that's in a lot better condition than mine. You could find one that's in a lot worse. So I didn't want to go too in depth like I normally would do. Uh, but I hope this is enough to just give you guys a look at my new United States Championship. I'm happy with it. It was £66. That's including postage, like £60 uh, without... And I think it is very, very good for the price. But there you go. What replica belt do you guys want to see me get next? I won't be getting one for a long time. I've promised myself this time around I'm going to try to stick to the promise. No more belts until I get a PlayStation 5. Do you guys have any replica belts at home? Do you have the United States Championship replica belt at home? Let me know in the comment section down below. I've been Joe from Joe Talks Wrestling. You guys have been awesome. Like, comment and subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.